Depending on the style, emo music often leaves a lot of room for the bass to take the focal point in certain sections of a song, making an almost lead style bass line a good fit in some cases. Extensive use of droning notes in your bass lines can effectively hold down the root note of the progression while allowing you to add additional melody over top. Odd time signatures can be pretty common in more mathy styles of emo. This doesn't mean the bass line themselves have to become overcomplicated, it just means you might need to learn to play in odd time signatures or incorporate metric modulation. Genre hopping is something you'll often hear in emo music. It involves incorporating other playing styles outside of the typical sound and can work especially well when applied to the bass. Walking bass lines in emo music help unify a chord progression by linking each chord change and creating smooth transitions between them. In emo bass playing, using counter melodies can add some additional layers of depth, making the main melody feel even more impactful. If you want an overview of how to go about writing your first emo song, watch this video next.